welcome to Anything and Nothing, episode 10. Woo woo! Uh, it's Tamara. This is Michelle. And Michelle, it's her week uh, to make a drink. So I'm going to kick it over to her and let us know what she uh, made. So this week I did a pineapple martini. Um, I made it because these are the ingredients I had at home. And I wanted to keep it simple. So just vodka, uh, simple syrup, and pineapple juice. That's super simple. I'm very surprised. It's yeah, usually my go-to. basic. It's usually my go-to. I know. Well, cheers to 10 episodes. Yes. Cheers. cheers. Let's try not to spill. Mm -hmm. Tastes just like pineapple juice. With I like a little it. hint. So, definitely okay. check it out. Yes. Well, moving on to random topic. I get to pick this week. I hope it's something good. Last week was, eh. No, Brent, last week was good. Was it good? Do we agree? That was the, no, it was a bad sex one. <sighs> okay, we're going to have to do, we're going to do two of these. I think we'll like just talk about this real quick. Okay. Would you wait to have sex until marriage if your partner wanted to? Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> it's a lot of thinking in that head gone on. Yeah, you would? I would wait. No, but how quick, would you, would you put a time limit on like how quickly uh, y'all have to get married? Probably, but um, I think that because we're not having sex, there would be a lot of conversation. Yeah. So I think that we probably get to the point of, you know, working out all the, what works for us, what doesn't work for us. Yeah. You know, so you and not, all of that, we'd probably talk about sex. We'd probably talk about what we want, what we need. Would you not be afraid of I need to see how... It. Okay, you can see it, but like... Yeah, I just can't have it. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. So but like, yeah. would that scare you that like you're going into something so serious and you've not experienced it? I get you can see it. No, because but what, if it's what not scares good? me about not having sex beforehand is always things that they can't fix. Okay, so you're thinking so if the I would size just, is decent, the then... size is decent, and it probably and just workable. what if he sucks at it? You can, can work that out. out. You can work that out. out. I, you know. So you're just like as long as it's not a micro penis, you're good. Right, as okay. long as he has one and um, it works. Yeah, I think we're we're all good. So okay. yeah, I, I mean everything else you can work out. We can. Yeah. We can figure that out. It's 2021. Like you can figure that out. Yeah. What do you feel? I'm in agreement with you. I mean, you know, I dated a guy that basically told me, like, he wanted to wait until mm. he was married. I think this actually might be my question. I forgot about this. My, it, this is my handwriting, so this is definitely my question. Um, <laughs> How did you put that in there? I thought it was an interest. I mean, I, th I think it's interesting because I didn't, I didn't know what you would say. Oh. Um, I think my problem with the waiting to have sex has more to do with kind of going back to Married at First Sight. Clara and Ryan, where Clara is um, wanting it, giving head, and not having sex. Oh yeah, no, no, we so never did. I think that if you're, I'm not talking about you. I didn't bring you into this. Oh, okay. I'm, all, I'm, always, <laughs> I'm always throwing myself in, like, but let me tell you what, what happened with me. <laughs> what I was gonna say was, um, if we're if we're not having sex, we're not having any type of sex. I completely. We're not gonna. Yeah. We're not They're, gonna do oral. Some of is the sex. This same no, to me not. and I think but that's different than guys right because this guy was like very open to oral sex and I was right. like but that's sex still yeah. like what I mean yeah, yeah. so do <laughs> women take good men for granted what is a good man though this is dumb you don't like this one do only because we get we get, we'll do another one you don't like it I just feel like that's a I, I hate who the, wrote this? The com the that question to me is from a man. To think that we would take a good man for granted. What does that even mean? Like take for granted as if we cheat on him? So I think like, that this goes back to more of women wanting to date the bad boys, right? Like what I think is that we need to throw that back in when we start incorporating, we're gonna start incorporating um conversations with other people yeah meaning men because that would be who i want to talk to about that yeah. question because i think that's a question for a man mm -hmm. because men for whatever reason think that's what we do 
Well, and that's what bothers me. I think that guys will be like, well, like, you know, he's a, a good man could be like a dorky man or like maybe not as an attractive guy, guy that has swag. And, and that's like, what, and that's my point. Like you can't just decide that because he's a good man and that's why you're I said, all What's supposed man to be mean? okay with that. So being a good man, but not being but being socially awkward right yeah nobody wants him mm -hmm. because he's socially awkward not because he's good yeah i and so that that's so that, that's what i said i was like what, what is saying. a good man this mean? is a conversation that we need to have with men because yeah. and i would probably be angry because i feel like they don't they don't consider that yeah like yeah. who wants a socially awkward person a guy or, wouldn't want that. Like Jacob don't want to have a conversation. You right. ask him a question, he says yes back. That's hard. Yeah. He's a good. He's a good person. guy. He's a good guy. I think he'd probably be a good husband. He's not gonna cheat on you. He's probably gonna take care of you. But right. are you gonna have stimulating conversations with him? Probably not. No. It's not this one. Going Dutch or not. I know what you're gonna say. On, I think well, how do you feel about going it? Going Dutch or not on a first date. I think that it says it is on a first date? No, but oh. I'm just saying, like, I'm I'm assuming because once you're in a relationship with somebody, I mean, I think that it's very realistic that you like can pick up a tab. Like, just because you're a woman doesn't mean that you don't ever have to fucking pick up a tab. Like, I think, I mean, to me, it's ridiculous. Now, if he's super super wealthy, go forth and do. But even some guy, like I've dated guys that make a lot of money like i still will grant i'm not gonna pick up the check a lot of times but sometimes i will like on birthdays and stuff um but i mean in general i'm like well they have more money than me um i think it just depends but on a first date i think it's disgusting um i think disgusting. i'm just disgusting like i'm completely turned off because i just think that you are this you are courting me and I understand it's 2021. That opens a whole nother door, that word. Courting? So you know. Okay. Oh, that's a great conversation. You need to throw that back in because that's a great conversation with guys. Courting? What courting means? Yes. Or Because mm -hmm. for me, here's the thing. I think, I get that we're in 2021 and everybody's come out like, you know, in the, in the 2000s with, you know, I'm an independent woman. Oh, my, my. Like, no, I don't. We are independent women. But I do think that men need to show that they can be somewhat of providers. And yeah, that to me means you can buy a meal. And it does need to be a fancy meal. Like pick, like do some Google research. So I refuse to do Dutch. Ever in life? Never. I will never do Dutch. If okay. I'm Dutch, I do Dutch with my friends. Oh, Dutch means you split it. That yes. is stupid. That yeah, I wouldn't splitting. do that. I was I was saying you could just take take the whole bill. That's different. Who does that? So yeah. that's stupid. I I don't do Dutch either. Do Dutch on any like if I'm Dutch, we're friends. You ask me to go Dutch, I've already well guess we're friends. I guess that to me that's you being passive aggressive and telling me that this didn't work out. Oh man, I'm sorry. We're friends. So I agree. Yeah, I'm not doing Dutch. Dutch is not an option. Yeah. And like she said, it I does mean, mean friendship. I agree. That's why I women was can pay for checks sometimes. I, that that I don't have a problem with. Once That's why I was surprised why you looked at me weird, but it's because Dutch is Dutch is splitting. going half. Okay, I didn't. I I, didn't, I, I, was not, I do not like that. Damn pineapple martini. She likes it. <laughs> <laughs> you pick another one because that was a waste. Ooh, if you kiss someone at a party but no, it will never happen again. Would you tell your partner? <laughs> oh i think this was a question that was in the atmosphere okay um, if you kiss someone at a party but you know it will never happen again would you tell your partner oh i love well it's for me i guess to answer since you asked the question yeah and then i can answer that's a good one um <laughs> would you okay we can say kiss and then we can go as far as sex Oh, no, no, no. That's you tell different. them? That's different. It's kissing and having sex are two different things. You tell? No, I probably wouldn't tell. I don't think it's uh, anybody's business, but wait. you're the person you have... Oh, sorry. Golly! <laughs> <laughs> this is a good so, This is what I should have started off with. So, uh, I probably would, one. honestly, I'll be 110% honest, 
I wouldn't tell. And I honestly hope that my partner would probably think the same. Don't tell me because if I found that out, I'm gonna be mad. So, but I think also you got to think of the circumstances. Did this happen at a place where I could find out? Would this happen at a place where my partner could find out? If this happened where I know that my partner's friends are in attendance and they could tell him, yes, I'm going to tell because I don't want him finding out from somebody else. But if I know he will never know, hold on, but is the kiss, I'm assuming the kiss happens while you're in a relationship, not before. Yes. Oh. This is you have a boyfriend at home or husband. And you actually have to kiss. And oh. you can't, well, if you have a husband, it's different. So I wouldn't say husband. If I kiss somebody and I was married, then that's a whole different Okay, moment. well, well we're not married, not married. So boyfriend. And it happened, mm -hmm. I would not tell because, and I, again, like I said, I I honestly probably wouldn't want him to tell me if he knows that it will never happen again. Like, I think the point is that that person, because it, I think it was a situation, I put that in a bowl. It was something I saw on TV. The situation, circumstance came up because the person, I think they put it on Reddit, mm -hmm. Reddit and they um, said, that they know that it will never happen again. Like, I guess they'll never see that person again and they'll never be in that circumstance for it to happen again. So that's why they said, should I tell him? Because mm -hmm. they know they'll never do that ever again. So if that was the circumstance, I know that it'll never happen again. No. Yeah. I'm not going to start drama over something that I... It's probably did when you're drunk. No, that yeah, I was wasted and it, well. So it sounds like we're okaying like cheating. I'm not okay cheating. I. <laughs> it is. This is so bad. I like, know that would be a good question to ask. Maybe when we have our Zoom. I know guys, it's so bad. What is your definition you it, of cheating? You can throw it back in because I. Yeah. What is I your don't think of that I would. Uh, That's I wouldn't. I, but again, I know that if. My boyfriend went to a party and kissed somebody randomly, and that's all that happened. And it, he'll never see that person again, and never has any intention to see that person again, and doesn't even want to kiss that person. You know, like it literally happened drunk, like, and they were like, "Oh my god, I can't believe I did that type situation." Yeah, you know, yeah. because that's what I'm thinking about, right? I'm putting it in the context of He's that not because trying to holler at her obviously either. she, the person that asked that question was more saying it like she knows it'll never happen again because she was never in any way considering that person so if that's the case don't tell me yeah don't tell me i won't tell you sex is different though kiss though sorry i thought i thought that question was more like if you'd done it before and now you have this person but you're still friends with them Oh, that's a whole nother question. <laughs> we need to write that question oh, drop that yeah. in the box. That's a maybe, whole different maybe question. Maybe that's another. So, <laughs> stay tuned, guys. I can be a spicy one next time. Random Wait, topics. what was your question? You didn't answer hardly. Oh, um, I know I started to, and I'm just going to wrap it up. I don't want to oh share. Um, so, I probably wouldn't tell either. Like, I, if I didn't think it was that big of a deal, like, if I didn't think that I would see the guy again, and I thought that it was, like, something that just randomly happened, like, I would just hold it in and not say anything. You'd lie. I would completely lie. Well, yeah. what, if, what do we call that? It's lie. not lie. Oh, even if it was sex, you would lie? I mean, if it was a one thing that you don't think will ever happen again. Oh, so no. I'm okay. I guess I'm okay. I'm okay in cheating if you can get away with it. Wow. Okay, no, sex, I would say. You would? Yes, no, sex, I would say. But now you're opening it up to a can of nah, worms. You, I would your say, relationship might be over. Well, I already opened you it up by having sex. sex. But if you protected yourself. But I already opened it up by having sex. You protected yourself. Nah, sex is different. Sex is way different than having a kiss. <laughs> oh my God. So then you're okay with being cheated on. I mean, here's the thing. Because you were just fighting me about that. But like, no, I, no, I didn't fight you on it. I just said, sounds like you're okay with cheating. I think that shit happens. And I think that you just have conversations. I think, if anything, you'd be safe. So you've been cheated on and had a conversation and thought that was okay. 
<laughs> All right. Okay. All right. I just think that it is, we are all human. And as humans, we make body mistakes. parts don't fall into you. No, but we make mistakes. That's a whole mistake. It's a huge mistake, but it's a mistake. And people make mistakes. You're not perfect. You shouldn't put yourself in the situation. But I mean, if it happens again, then there's a problem. But I mean, I think everybody. So the first time cheating is uh, acceptable. I'm not. Second time cheating <laughs> is not. I mean, it's like I like how we go from me being me having an issue. You know what? I wasn't calling you out. I literally just asked the question, so you're okay with cheating? That's all I said. I didn't come off judgmental. I literally just asked the question because I knew what I was. Well, thinking. obviously, you're okay with cheating. I'm not okay with cheating. You just said you're okay with the first time cheating. I just think, I mean, I just think that stuff happens and people have to be open to hearing their partner out if it needs to come out. But like, you don't need to know everything. <laughs> I don't need to know who you having sex with. If you're protecting yourself. Oh my God. But I'm not, every time, I'm not saying you should just be out like, like fucking fucking people. I'm just saying that like, stuff happens. Obviously. I think this, is, uh, this must be coming from somebody that's single and not thinking about being not single. Because what? are you serious right now? You're okay. No, I mean, I'm with not. With your a, boyfriend coming home and saying, ah. No, I'm not okay with something that. Something happened. We said, the question was, do you tell them? Just don't tell me. <laughs> Let me be in, like, you know, dumb bliss. Now, when okay. I find out it's going to be an issue, yeah. Like, okay. I don't like sharing. Okay. Like, that's going to be a problem. But all I'm saying is if you cheat on your spouse mm. and you're able to hold it in and it's not going to like ruin you and your spirit out. and they won't find out, you should probably like, and you know, you're not going to do it again. It was a mistake and you realize that and you were protected. You see all these things I'm adding in, then I think you shut your mouth because you're just going to open up a can of worms that it just it doesn't like it's for what purpose so that you're honest no um <laughs> like you made a mistake so do okay. you tell them if you know it's never gonna happen again okay so for me yeah if i have decided to have sex with someone drunk or not drunk or not. now blackout drunk that's different yeah because blackout drunk i don't even know what i did so but I i'm always blackout drunk but we're not gonna do it say that um <laughs> Uh, I'm not so, like I'm drunk. <laughs> um, but if I'm drunk, but obviously conscious and I know what's happening, I know it happened. Um, I can't, uh, to me, I drunk or not, I intended to do that. Mm, really? To me, to me. What do you mean now, you intended? You didn't go in that night saying I'm going to cheat on my spouse. Yeah, but. So that I obviously went in that indeed. night being okay with it happening. Mm. Like, I and I don't know. our physical that that, bodies take over our brains. Yeah, but what's to say it's not going to happen again? Yeah, that's true. So I've obviously with a different the person. Door because it's like, I, oh, I'm not going to do it with that person. I've so definitely be person. been drunk yeah. and said, no, we are not doing anything. Yeah. So the fact that I decided that with that person, yeah. No, that I mean you bring up a good point because it's like okay maybe it's not that. So person. then it's bigger than you're just a cheater. Yeah. Like you. Yes. Exactly. Like yeah. a random kid. Like a random kiss. Like a friend of ours was telling us how some random dude just kissed her during mid conversation. Oh. It wasn't even her to kiss him. Kiss he kissed her. Else. So it's like, oh, would I tell? I don't need. I don't think I need to tell my partner that because I was offended by it. So he kissed me. Yeah, so, and I know it will never happen again because I will never be close to again to that person, right? So, all right, you're probably right. So apparently, to reassess. Tamara's cool with cheating. I'm not. I, I'm I really not. don't want to be cheated on. But I'm okay it's with a, a kiss. It's a heart. It's, okay. it's heartbreak. I bet not. I bet not find out. Yeah. All right. I think that. That <laughs> there's a bow. I've already gave my. I shouldn't even. Uh, we should not have spent three minutes on me because now I look like I like cheating. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed all of these random topics. Yes. Um, we definitely will get some guys in because I think these are good. Yes, so we are going to start doing more Zoom conversations. So look look out for that um, coming up yeah, if in you be our in next it. few episodes. Yes, definitely let us know if you are interested and being on the show to participate in the random topic conversation. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I'm excited for that part of it because I love a good debate. And what we have to have, everybody has to drink the same drink. Ooh. What? Yes. Because we do know the drink in advance. So, yes, they do. We all need to be on the same drink. I love it. Love okay, it, too. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for joining, guys. Bye. Bye.